Welcome back, y'all. I'm here with some more threats or warnings. And this is titled, Ukraine, Russia, War. U.S. warns Avadika could fall. The U.S. had warned that Russia could seize Ukraine's key eastern town of Avadika, the scene of some of the fiercest fighting in recent months. Okay, I know we is on Ukraine side and not Russia's. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Avadika is at risk of falling into Russian control. National Security Council spokesman Jean Kirby said, citing Ukraine's ammunition shortages. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky vowed to do everything to save as many Ukrainians' lives as possible. Russian troops have made gains in Avadika, threatening to, to, threatening to encircle it. The town, which had been almost completely destroyed, is seen as a gateway to nearby Donetsk, the regional Ukrainian capital seized by Russian-backed fighters in 2014 and later illegal minery and next by Moscow. Russian President Vladimir Putin launched a full-scale invasion of Ukraine on February the 24th, 2022. At Thursday, which is today, briefing in Washington, Mr. Kirby said Avadika could fall largely because the Ukraine forces on the ground are running out of artillery ammunition. Russia, Russia is sending wave after wave of conscript forces to attack Ukrainian position, he said. And because Congress had yet to pass the supplement bill, we have not been able to provide Ukraine with the artillery shells that they desperately need to disrupt the Russians' assaults. Russian forces are now reaching Ukrainian trenches in Avadika, and they are beginning to overwhelm U- Ukrainian defenses okay earlier this week the u.s senate approved a 95 billion foreign aid package including 60 billion for ukraine after months of political wrangling but it faces an uphill battle in the house of representative representatives ukraine is critically dependent on weapons supplies from the u.s and other western allies to be able to continue fighting russia a much bigger military force with an abundance of artillery and ammunition. NATO Secretary General Jean Saltenberg warned on Thursday that the U.S. failure to approve continued military assistance to Ukraine was already having an impact on the battlefield. In his video address later late on Thursday, President Zelensky said, "We are doing everything we can to ensure that our warriors have enough." M- Man- manageable and technological capabilities to save as many Ukraine's lives as possible. On Friday, Mr. Zelensky is visiting Berlin and Paris where he is expected to sign security pacts with German Chancellor Olaf Scholz and French President Emmanuel Macron. A similar agreement on security cooperation was signed between Ukraine and the U- UK in January. Late on Thursday, which is now, Ukraine General will also send the time admitted that fixed battles were taking place within Avadika. We value every piece of Ukrainian land, but the highest value and priority for us is the preserv- preservation of the life of a Ukrainian soldier, he said. Early in the day, Ukraine's military spokesman, the Marshal Lovico, acknowledged that Ukrainian troops in Avdika were being forced to sometime move to time move to more advantageous positions and some places leaving positions. Some Ukrainian soldiers had privately admitted the town could fall at any moment. We are upset. Ukraine officer Oki from Ukraine's 110th motionized Bizhigay in the Avadika area told the BBC earlier this week, standing beside a huge mobile artillery piece as Russian guns boomed in the distance. Currently, we have two shells, but we have no explosive charges for them, so we can't fire them. As of now, we have run out of shells, said Oliski. He suggested that the shortages will widespread and having a dramatic impact on the fighting in Avadika. We feel a very strong responsibility for our guys fighting right now in the town, armed only with assault rifles. 
Ukraine's newly appointed commander-in-chief, Oli San Sarika, visited the front line in the Avdika area this week, acknowledging that the situation there was difficult. He said the Russian military did not count losses, losing its troops at Kenny Falders. Kavisa, an elite Ukrainian brigade, has now been sent to Avdika and reserve artillery have been deployed. In, un- in unverified reports, Russian military bloggers said on Thursday that a key Ukrainian defense position in southern Avdika, known as Zenit, was now under Mo- Moscow's control. Okay, that's it. Enjoy.